Well, hello YouTube. Well, I finally did it. I installed my uh, piston pump on my uh, big 250 gallon tank. I uh, used three quarter inch pipe going into the pump and a uh, half inch peck going to this tank here. This is a old hot water tank, the one that you connect behind a wood stove. Well, that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. I uh, like one thing about it is that since it's got two holes on the side, I was able to uh, put a clear pipe that uh, is going to show me the level of the water. Well, let me start the pump and uh, go from there, see what, uh, first of all, Open the water. Well, I don't know if you see, but the thing is full. And uh, another nice thing is that since the tank is above the pump, it's self priming. <laughs> you need to prime it. I can think that you could, can even hear the water going into the tank. Well, let's start the pump. No pump, so a little bit on the noisy side. And Okay, I'm not going to let you watch the whole process. It's going to take a couple of minutes uh, for the tank to fill up. I'll be back when the tanks, uh, when the pump stops. Well, the pump has stopped. That means I got 40 pounds of pressure. And uh, in the system, now I got a check valve there so that the water doesn't go back into the uh, into the tank, into the 250 gallon tank, and so I got 40 pound of pressure in this tank, and the water is just there in the tank, so I know. And that line is that line uh, I marked there. If the water goes any higher than that, I know that I got to empty this tank. Because uh, there's lack of air in it. Uh, oh, it gives me a good pressure. And one day I'll probably uh, I'll probably put a, a gauge on it just to just to see uh, how much pressure I have in it. But it should be set at uh, 2040. So it starts at 20 pounds, stops at 30, uh, at 40, sorry. Now the nice thing about a piston pump is that as long as you're able to get that wheel turning, it's gonna pump. So anybody that's got a, that's half grid or homestead and needs to, to pump water, 
uh, you can uh, put a 12 volt motor, a 48 volt motor uh, as long as you got something uh, that turns it it's going to be good hey, you could even use a bicycle if you want it to make it turn or in case of uh, emergency uh, you could always uh, attach a handle on it and uh, pump it by hand well, I don't think I would do that it would, uh, it would be very tar tiresome but hey, you could uh, put a bike on it and turn it with a bike a bicycle anyway this is my little uh, watering system for my uh, for my vegetables uh, gravity works I just wanted something a little bit better so thank you for watching uh, please hit the like button share if you want and uh, if you have any question or comment please leave them below thank you for watching